Hello guys, you're welcome back to Photographics Academy. All right, so today we're going to be looking at one of the best ways to do your portrait retouching. So this is going to be a very interesting video because we'll be working with actions and that same action, if you join our WhatsApp community, you will be getting it for free. All right, so without wasting much of your time, let's quickly get started. Now, if you look at this image, one of the first things you are going to notice is blemishes and that is the first thing we are going to be taking care of in this particular one so to do that i'm going to quickly use my clean plus black and white layer in this action here so if you've been following our page for some time right now or our channel you definitely must have gotten access to this action because we've used it a lot this is one of my favorite actions so i'm just going to reload uh open the properties of this black and white because i need it to lighten up a little so i'll just open up the reds a little and i'm good so it's already in my spot healing break brush to the action does that selection for you automatically so i'll just quickly go close to my image and start taking care of it now this does not mean that it is only spot healing brush tool that you are going to use for taking care of your blemishes if it doesn't work you can as well move straight to your patch tool Clap this area i'm going to work with patch tool over that area so all these smaller ones, we can or could fix it using our spot habit. Okay. Real good. All right. Alright, so once that is done, I think I'm going to work with this because we can't possibly remove everything. So we'll fix all of that using our mix, our frequency separation technique. This is what we did. Although, let me show you. This is the before over here. Yeah, this is the after. This is the before. This is the after. Then for the skin, I think we also fixed a few ones. So I'm going to match this up, then quickly load my frequency separation action. Yeah, look at it over here. I'm going to press play now i need to be able to take care of these blemishes so i'm going to make sure i'm selecting a a blur ratio a blur reduce rather that allows me remove blemishes so i'll be placing it somewhere around five and still see if the blemishes are visible yeah i think this will work then i'll press ok open it up then i'm going to be working on my low frequency pick up my mixer brush tool over here of course my settings is 33 and 31 that is my wet and my flow i do not touch my load and mix then of course you can decide to turn off your high frequency you can as well leave it open and work with any of them but make sure your sample all layers is deselected unless you are working with uh correcting tones so i'll quickly just paint over here So we have this here, beautiful. Okay, so I think I need to turn off my high frequency so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Because I need to make sure that each area comes out smooth, even when I'm doing my mixer brush. So this allows me to know when it's smooth already. So once it's smooth, I'm no longer bothered if the textures are still showing or not. But I've gotten a smooth surface. Right. So we'll go this way again. So let me, let me do a very quick opening so you could see what I've done. This is the before, this is the after. So you see that we still have our skin textures intact, but we are making the uh, the tones blend into each other perfectly. All right, we'll go into this one. 
beautiful. Okay, so we'll come down to the cheek area. Do some blending over here. And over here as well. Okay, so I think we are good with our mixer brush too here. Yeah, I'm so happy with the way the textures are still very much intact, but we'll have a very beautiful skin going on right here. Then we'll come down to the body. Okay, so we are done with the body. Let me do show you a very quick before and after. This is the before, this is the after. So now I want to take out a little time and take care of some skin to some skin textures that are standing out too much. So I'm going to pick up my clone stab, make sure that you are painting with maybe like 50%. Or rather, let's paint with 100 so we don't spend a lot of time. Or make sure your clone brush is very small. Then you can zoom out so that you see the ones that are looking very distracting from the distance. So I'm doing this in my high frequency layer, not in my low. So whatever I'm doing here is protecting my colors perfectly, just affecting my texture. I think that was too much about that. So I need to make it soft. Let me make the flow go as low as maybe somewhere around four. Then make my brush slightly be that. This is another way of softening out very rough textures. So just select any area and quickly just paint over that spot. So as you are painting, you are looking at it. Once it's looking soft, you stop. Yeah. All right, so the next thing I want to do is to apply one more frequency separation, but this time around with a different technique. So this one I'm going to do now is targeted towards making the image look smooth and soft. So we have we are done with blended, blending our tones together. This is what it was looking like before. This is what it's looking like now, but it's still looking rough. So the next one we're going to be applying is going to take care of that. So I'm going to flatten this up and apply another frequency separation. This time around, I'm keeping it at three. I'm keeping it at three, then I'll press OK. So once it's loaded, I'm going to open it up, go down to my low frequency and convert it to a smart object. Very important. Then I'm going to go to my filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur. Now I'm going to blur it out until I get the kind of softness I want in the skin. And I think 10 cuts the cheese, so I'm going to use 10. Then I'll come to the smart filter, press Ctrl I. Invite the selection, pick up my brush. So now I'll make sure my brush uh, flow and opacity is high. Then I'll just quickly paint over my skin. So this is more like me combining two techniques in frequency separation together in one picture to achieve my desired result. I think I need a little softness here. All right, so the same thing with the neck. All right, so let me show you what we've done now. This is the before, this is the after. So we just made her skin even softer. That doesn't mean she still does not have textures. Her textures are intact, just that they are now softer in looking at it all right so just get back the eyes and maybe a little bit of the nose area let's check one after okay so here 
the edge here yeah? because I lost contrast in those areas. So I'm trying to restore the contrast I lost in some areas. Beautiful. All right, so the next thing we need to do right now is to do our dodging and our burning. Very, very important for the image. All right, so I'm going to flatten this up and run my dodge and burn. So this is going to be a very big one because our image actually have dimension. So press dodge and we also play burn. We do not need to load our tech layer because we are not doing uh, micro dodge and burn in this one. We are just doing a very global stuff that we believe will make the image stand out. So I'll first of all click on my dodge and just quickly dodge these areas that the highlights are very not obvious. just like that then her forehead so remember i'm working with flow five so i'm not spending so much time on one area the tip of her nose beautiful then over the eye here over the eye here do the same thing here and over the eye here then on the cheek Probably a little bit on the lips. Come down to the body. Look at that streak of highlights here. We'll just make it brighter. Do the same thing here. Do the same thing here. Move our breast a little. Do the same thing here. The same thing over here. Nature brighter. Nature brighter. And we are good. All right, so quickly, power bond. I think the first place I need to go is the nose. So yeah. Do the same thing here. All right. So looking at the nose now, I think I need highlights at the edge over here. So I'll make that nose line become very, very dense. Okay. So power one, we'll pick it up again. We'll burn this area slightly. We'll burn this area slightly. Then do the same thing at the edge of the cheeks here. Yeah? I think that was too much. Do the same thing over here. Do the same thing over here. Same thing over here. Alright, so this is what we did with our dodge and bone. Let me match that together in a group this is the before this is the after so you see how we're able to quickly bring the dimensions into the image the before the after the before the after so we'll bring it down a little we'll flatten this up so if you wish to color grade your image beautiful so for me i'm just going to touch the skin tone a little i love the way it's looking flawless so i'll just quickly grab my selective tool my select selective color rather and just move into my reds a little because I need her to warm up and lighten up. Yeah, beautiful like that. This is too much magenta. Do the same thing for your yellows. Maybe brighten it up a little. And we are good to go. This is the before. This is the after. I think it's slightly too much to bring me down a little. Then we apply a photo filter effect. I love applying photo filters to my image. So I think this is everywhere in the image. So let me quickly uh, select just her skin and place it on her skin. All right, press OK. Then I'll paint in the remaining one into her hand here because I didn't get that in my selection. OK, so we are good to go. The last thing I want to do on this image right now is to apply my done for you retouch action and see how much we are able to do with it. So I'll just quickly play my gun for you and see how it affects the image. Keep it somewhere around five and press enter. And the job is done, except for the fact that it's too much, yeah? So I'm going to drop it down probably all the way to 30 something. 30? Let's keep it at 30. Beautiful. So this is what we'll have before and after. So I'm going to make a snapshot of everything we've done. So we'll see 
how much we have done in this image. So this is the image when we came into Photoshop. Wow, that was quite an amazing transformation. And this is the after. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do not forget to join our WhatsApp community to get access to this particular action. One more time, thank you so much for watching. When you subscribe, do make sure you turn on your notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Until then, see you on the next one.